Hello friends. Hi girls. So today has been a big day for me here at home. I have been tearing down all of my winter decor and I piled it all up on the table. If you follow me on Instagram, you already know this. You've seen it in my stories. Uh, it's over at Tammy Loves Vintage if you don't follow me over there. But um, I, <laughs> I uh, kind of showed the mess that I had going on and um, I mean, this table was full. So now I've got it all boxed up. I have one tub left here still to fill and I have these things on the table and I wanted to show you guys. So let me, can I, let me see, while you guys are jumping on, I'm going to uh, post L-O-V-E-S. Okay, I'm gonna post my, um, I'm gonna post my website. <laughs> if I can, I never do this. <laughs> there, I think I got it. Oops, I hit race. Okay, I think I did it. I don't know, it's TammyLovesVintage.com. If in case you guys want to learn how to make any of these items, there are so many videos in my little group, it's $15 a month. It started out at 27 and that was like a lot of pressure I felt like to perform. And so I knocked it down to 15 just because it made me feel better. <laughs> and so, uh, but I know there's lots of value over there. Um, all of the videos have been saved since 2019 and I do at least three, uh, sometimes more. It just depends on what I have time for. Um, it's an easy little group, not a lot of people in there. Um, I just love going over there. But I've had two of you messaging me looking for things to do and I message that I've been busy in our group. Um, we've been doing a lot of Valentine things. I just did the cutest thing last night. I should show you. And I'm getting ready to do one. I, I'm like, oh, it's so good. I don't know whether to do it here or in my group, but I feel like the girls in my group are paying, so I need to give them my best. So I think I'm gonna do it over there, but I'll share it with you when I'm finished. Um, but the thing we did last night was just so nice, and everyone really seemed to like it. But as I'm as I was cleaning up this is all winter a little the trees are a little bit christmas but because they were just white i took them as winter not white but you know vintagey looking i took them as uh winter so i'm um, getting ready to pack them away kind of saying goodbye <laughs> but this was one of the things that i made with um handmade lace and then i put the old wood spindles on the top and i loved how those turned out I did um, some button trees with curtain finials uh, on top, and then this one was this one was a favorite. I loved this finial. It was I think this was a drawer pull actually, um, and then I did another button tree. It, I only had one, so this one just kind of sits on its own. Um, we did the Target houses uh, with my kids when they were home for Christmas. Um, Abby did this one, and. Um, Summers is already packed away because hers were colorful glitter, a little bit more Christmassy than winter. These were mine. I thought they turned out cute. I want them to look like gingerbread cookies. Um, so we did that. I had bought this twig uh, uh, nest and then I kind of jazzed it up with some stuff and tried to do the frosting. Um, we made these deer. Now we made these a while ago, I, uh, I, probably the year before last. It wasn't this Christmas, but um, um, I was inspired by my friend Donna Dotson and made uh, these deer. So I thought they turned out super good. So get it. You can see that it's all wintry. I don't know if you caught our, um, well, I know I didn't do them here, but I know I shared them, our paper mache um, tree ornaments that we made look vintage and then the oil can idea to display. So I'm going to put this away and I'm going to do something else to hang out of an oil can over in the group. Um, how about our bottles? Julie and I, my friend Julie came over and we did bottles on boards. A lot of these are still on the website. Um, and we, I loved these and this was hanging in the bathroom, but it's, it's wintry with the, with the winter, so um, I'm gonna put that away. We made lots of, of um, tins 
with vintage um, treasures that we found while antique shopping. And this was the only one that really I felt I could leave out for winter. Everything else was very Christmas. Um, we made tags in there that we hang. I have a lot of these are for sale on the um, website. Um, this was a favorite. I learned how to make these little trees, um, the little sizal trees, but I make my own and made those on our website and we put that one on old thread this one was on some sort of piece of wood um i had two they're different but i had two um and you guys if you join you would learn how to do this as well there's another one on a thing of thread love this little teeny guy i put in an old oil can love that um I tried to do a twisted tree and then I put a little bit of white sisal or not white, but like natural colored sisal. So um, those are my trees that I made. Love those. Um, and then the last thing, oh well, no, it's not the last thing. We did the feathers. I don't know if you remember seeing the finished feather garlands. Um, I left this out all year last year, but I think I'm going to put it away um, this year and bring it back out so that I um, enjoy it again and not, don't just get used to seeing it. I always hung it on my ladder. So I think I'm gonna put it away so that when I'm, you know, when you unpack, it's like, hello friends, hello treasures that you've forgotten that you had. It's so fun to unpack your things. So yeah, I think I'm going to do that. And then of course we made um, the, the tassels, we made larger ones than these. Um, but you know, that's still something that we did in there. And then we did the clay hearts for Valentine's this year. We did the, um, the yarn hearts. And then the, what I'm going to put away here is the sweater balls. We made these, um, out of, um, what do you call it? Goodwill or, you know, thrifted sweaters. So this was just like a little Valentine's bowl in a, in a dough bowl that I put together. So, um, and that's just like, you guys, if I walked you through this house and everything that we made in that group, you wouldn't believe it. You really, it's really a good place. Even, like I said, even if you just get in for a month or two and then hop out, all of that, there are so many videos and you won't find them on YouTube um, under Tammy Loves Vintage. There are lots of videos over there, but none of these. Um, after they've been in there for a year, I tend to bring them to you guys, but they're at least a year old. So, um, Anyway, there's lots more of Valentine's stuff that's out right now, and maybe when I go to put it away, I'll show all of you as well. But so yeah, I kind of just wanted to tease you a little bit and say hello, and also, I didn't do the website walk Wednesday yesterday because I, I had pulled all of these things out, and it's gonna look so cute, but I pulled it out of my new spring inventory, and I forgot that I hadn't sent it to Danita yet to put on our website. So um, there's three items that I use Used. So I sent them to her um, yesterday when I got home from work, but I got home late and I kept thinking, well, I can do it tonight if she can get them on tonight. And I just checked and she hasn't had time to get them on yet. She's busy with the little one and um, plus her regular job and all of that. So I don't know when she'll get it on, but um, maybe she'll get be able to get at least those three items is all I need. Um, so maybe she'll have time, but as soon as she gets them on, I'll come I'll come live and do a little website walk with you. We just won't call it Wednesday, <laughs> but I'm gonna stay on that. I'm gonna try to drive myself to stay on that Wednesday goal. Um, I know I missed one, um, and I can't, I think I just got home so late, I wasn't able to put it together. Um, and then, so I did it the next day, but that's why I'm late this time is, I just thought it would be confusing to say, well, all of this is on my website, except this and this and this. If you're interested, message me. I just thought it would be too confusing. So I think it'll be easier if we wait. Um, so anyway, that's all I have. I'm going to finish packing these up. Oh, I know one more thing I was going to um, talk to you about. I have, you know, your Christmas trees, um, when you do your, take down your Christmas trees, like your big ones. I don't know if you guys have ever tried the saran wrap thing before, uh, but I do that. Now, I my husband helped me this year and it was so, oops, I still have a couple. These are, these are um, glittered orchids that fell off of my stem. So I just tucked them in this tree. 
Um, instead of hanging bulbs, I put glittered um, snowy orchid flowers and just laid them in there. So anyway, a great way to store your trees is to hold up on the tree as much as you can and then you just start going around with saran wrap. Um, gosh, I would do that, but I don't, it's, um, Want to see me do that? I don't, oh, I don't know if you do or not. I mean, you can imagine wrapping. I'm gonna try to push this back here and see if I can see if I can get it. I got all my little trees here. Let's just do it. What the heck? It needs done. Let me move my little trees over here without damaging them. They're pretty fragile. Okay, and then oh, we got a new can, a new sweeper thing. I just love it. So we're trying to figure out where we want to hang it. You know how you have to hang them. Okay, so let me grab my um, saran wrap here. I wasn't planning on doing this with you guys, but what the heck, let's do it. So, okay, so I have, I always get the big um, saran wrap, or it's not called saran wrap, it's called food service film from um, Sam's, Sam, or yeah, Sam's Club. So, okay, so then you just, whoops. So then I just um, wrap and wrap and wrap. Gosh, I've used this probably three or four years now and I still have tons, tons and tons. And I just left the lights on there. I did take the batteries out so that they don't uh, explode on me. And then all you do is, of course with the big tree, it was nice having Randy's help. Um, but this tree, I think I can handle myself. Anyway, so let's get it going, if I can. And what it does, when you don't have the box, it keeps the dust off of it. Um, ugh, I might not be able to do it here on camera. <laughs> okay, hold her down. Here, maybe, there we go. That's what I needed to do. <laughs> okay, now we're on a roll. I had my box sitting up so the teeth kept wanting to cut it off. <laughs> okay, so I'm trying to get it down low here. Oh, I'm gonna have to try that new sweeper out when I'm done. And then I honestly just wrap the heck out of it. I'm gonna wrap the bottom as well so that that burlap stays clean also. And we just wrap and wrap and wrap. This. Now I know it's way past Christmas, but any of you that have been like me and left the little tree out for um, winter, do this. Or here's the thing, here's the other idea that you could do, is make a note right now, take a scrap piece of paper and write wrap tree in plastic if you don't have the box, okay? If you just like stick it in the basement or somewhere, um, what we do, I hold the box up and go around and then hand it to my husband and he goes around the other side and we get it started by holding up and he'll go around and anyway, we get it and it's so nice. Um, so you saw how this tree was really uh, like really all over the place and look how nice it is now. So this will just go in the basement um, on a show. Oh, my, my my bottom came unwrapped. Um, this will just go in the basement uh, with the other trees. And I have two of them in boxes, and then I have one that's not in a box. Um, and then I have this little one. So there you go. But look, see the difference? So it was like tree-ish, and now it's not. <laughs> so there you go. So I am totally, honestly, all I have to do is put this last little bit of stuff away and I will have all of my winter put away and pretty much the house put back together. I've been rearranging some um, furniture pieces and I'll share that stuff with you guys. Uh, yeah, I'm really, I was feeling really heavy with all of the winter and then adding in all of the Valentine. I've never done as much Valentine as I've done this year. And so I felt really, um, really heavy, like a lot of stuff. And 
uh, my husband was like, you too much stuff. And I knew in my heart it was, it's Valentine's and winter and everyday decor. It was all out, but it looked nice. Um, it was just a lot even for me. So now I feel bare, <laughs> I feel really bare, but it's good. So I'm going to live with this Valentine's thing and then as soon as Valentine's Day hits probably that night or the next morning I'm tearing all of Valentine's down I think I'd like to just take a few days to breathe <laughs> right and then I'll drag out spring and um, start putting that out and make it all cheery and colorful so anyway you guys um you want to know about the sweeper yes um, well it's hanging in the laundry room it is called um, I think I I think I shared it to my Amazon. Um, I'll tell you what. Look for the link in the comments when we're done, and I'll link it for you, Elaine. It was like $150, and we were oops, we were going to get the Dyson, but it was just so expensive. And um, one of the gals I follow on Instagram was talking about the sweeper, and the other funny thing about it is all of the other sweepers are always crazy colors and stuff and my laundry room is white and black and the sweeper is white so it matched my decor which I know right now just shoot me right I know I know don't don't even comment but it was just a plus um the only thing the only thing I love it and it has a light so when you're running it like the light shows you your dirt i didn't know my house was so dirty like around the edges and in the corners um it's like shining a flashlight while you're cleaning oh yeah yeah so i'm like it's a good thing it's fun to run but it is um let me link it i can't say it uh i'm not sure what that is it looks like a 770 cmoc i don't yeah i don't know I can't say it and it'll be backwards if I hold it to up to you guys, but it's lightweight the the hand it's it's um, cordless um, And it's got the top the stuff on the top and I never wanted that but I get the idea of it We're getting old to bend over and chase around everywhere with the little handheld one You know, we're walking around like this all over the place <laughs> on the sweeper and my husband's like I don't think I want to do that anymore. Let's get a stand-up kind so we did. The only thing I started to tell you, and I don't want to forget, the only thing that I don't love about it, our handheld one went into a little holder, and that holder charged it. Um, this one goes into a holder, but you have to plug the little plug in. So it's worth it to me to, number one, have white, number two, have the light, number three, and it's just I don't have to bend over, and number four, the price. <laughs> So, um, we love it and it was uh, out of the box and ready to fly super easy. So yeah, I didn't really mean to get in a sales pitch, but if you are in the lookout for a handheld sweeper, it looks, I mean, it, it's one of those kind, um, I will, I'll put that in the comments. I'll also put a direct link to my group to sign up. It's $15 a month. And if you guys want to make a couple cute crafty things, I hate the words craft, but I like to call it that we're making treasures um, because we really, I do treasure the things that I've made. Um, and I try to not make, you know, junky things. I mean, we try to really make nice things. Um, I promise at least three crafts treasure makings <laughs> a month and um yeah i just it's my happy place i look awful when i go in there because it's at night sometimes when we've been painting and i it's just i just love it in there i could just be me and i don't have to have it all planned so much what i'm going to talk about but anyway you guys i would love to see you over there even just to even just to snoop around so um thanks for watching i'm going to go oh randy's coming up now so i'm going to run and i'm going to finish putting away my winter and then i'm going to sit down and enjoy my empty rooms <laughs> i'm going to enjoy it have a great night you guys oh i should i should look at your comments let me look and see i always look at your comments i'm sorry i almost i almost signed off Let's see what you let's see what you're saying here real quick real quick uh, la, 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 la. there's Terry Rena oh thank you Terry oh Marshall's I got out Marshall's hi Cindy and there's Jenny hi Jenny and Sarah hello Sarah and Karen hi Karen Oh, you guys, thanks for watching. Yes, you're in the group, Terry. You, I think you've been in since the beginning. Thank you. I love it too. Hi, Darla. How are you, girlfriend? 
Um, so many comments on the post that I posted about my friend Mary Kay. Uh, we painted her kitchen cabinets and we posted a before and after. I don't know if you guys saw that post or not, but we were saying, would your husband let you? Um, hi, Darlene. It's so interesting how many of you are just like, my husband doesn't care. Hi, Marianne. My husband does. <laughs> Thank you, Darlene. Thanks for sprinkling. Yeah, he's been a, a firm no. And then he... Um, he swayed and said, well, maybe we, maybe we should do that. And now he's back to no. Um, thank you, Jenny. I love that one too, the glass one. I love that, it's so pretty. I hate to put some of these things away. Glad you're cut. Uh, yes, yes, Sandy, I'm glad you got to see them too. Thank you. Oh, Cindy, great. Oh yes, you are in there. I, you did just sign up, I remember. Um, hi, Nancy. Oh, Nancy, that's my mom. <laughs> hi, mom. <laughs> hi, Nancy. <laughs> Gosh, I never called my mom Nancy. <laughs> Hi, Darlene. Thank you. Thank you so much. Um, you love your ideas. Love crafting and seeing the different things. Please share more of your crafts and ideas uh, on tight budget. Uh, as most of you are. Yes, I know. That's why I dropped it. It was 27 and I dropped it down to 15. Um, the rest of us would really appreciate it. I do share when they're finished, but um, I find that I was out like trying to find things and you're buying so much stuff. And um, just like, I don't, there, I don't really don't know why we do these things in here. And I was making things that I didn't necessarily need. I just kind of wanted to try to make it. And so to have just a little bit of help paying for the stuff that I was getting um, to share with you guys. And um, besides that, I had a couple business coaches really pushing to um, do that. So I love it. I'm so glad I did. Um, you want to come live with me? Oh, Mary Ann, I would love to have company. My husband's gone a lot. So yeah, I would love to have a friend. Oh, the sizal trees, Jenny. I just absolutely love them. It, that alone is worth the $15. Uh, just checking, um, catching me from West Virginia. Hi, Melinda. I love that you follow me. Thank you. Thank you, Melinda. Love the Valentine's Bowl. Thank you. Yeah. Um, I always, after I make projects in the group, I always show how I display them in my house to give them ideas um, over there. And then usually I will share a finished with you guys at some point. That's kind of why I was doing this because I'm not sure I shared all of it with you guys or sometimes you don't all see everything. So um, before I pack it away, I thought I would show you and all of that's in there. So if you decide to go uh, sign up, you'll be able to look back through the videos and find them. Um, you're watching from Southeastern Ohio. Sharon, me too, that's where I live. Hi, Michelle. Uh, oh, thank you, Brenda. It was a Marshalls. Um, Let's see here. <laughs> this morning, I don't know if you could tell. I even put a little blue eye. Yeah, you can see it. I put a little blue eyeshadow. <laughs> Talk about going back to the 80s, right? I know, but I just felt like I just needed. Oh, hey, there's a stars. Hey, that's from Terry. Thank you, Terry. Um, thank you for that. I I was playing around with all my eyeshadows and I had all these colors. So I thought, I'm just gonna play with it. So I put a little blue. <laughs> A little bit of blue on. I liked it. Oh boy, I hope that doesn't mean I do it now all the time. Um, I know what you mean. As soon as you turn on the camera, you encounter it. Yes, you don't encounter off camera. That's exactly right, Teresa. Anything can happen once you hit that go. <laughs> Thanks, Nancy. Uh, anybody else have anything? You wanna see my new sweeper? Oh, Elaine, well, Randy's up here. Now he's got the door open. I can show you and then I'll put the link. Um, I'll put the link in the comments um, for my Amazon shop. Uh, let's see, really nice. Thank you, Terry. Yes, you're in my group, so I know you've made a lot of those things. Hey, Julie, hello, thanks for watching. Let's see, okay, I get it. Love all your treasures. Oh, thank you, Tara. Thank you. The fan blade, <laughs> yes. Is this Ernestine? You got the fan blade. Is that is that who? I can't remember who got it. Somebody got the fan blade. Um, my fan blade is in. Let's see. I can show you. I should take you around and show you everything I've set up, but I'm still kind of a mess. I'm not all together yet. Where is it? Here's my. There's my fan blade, right there. <laughs> I love it. I love it. So there you go. It's just like a backdrop. Look, this is all of the stuff that I've pulled from you guys, for you guys, from my house. 
boxes and boxes. And then this, I'm not sure if you can see. Uh, what are you seeing? Yeah, inside that box is a bunch more uh, English stoneware to come your way. And I did get a bunch of it posted. Um, Denise, I sent Denise all the information and she got it posted. So there are a few more containers over there if you've been waiting. I just don't have, I haven't had time to get them all to her. So I haven't talked about them. And um, the tiny trees are, they are Brenda. I know, I love them. Um, I saw those, uh, there's a girl on Instagram that I follow and she was making them. And I thought I have to try, I love them so much. Um, Kathy, hi, thanks for jumping on. Hey, there's Beth. Hope you're feeling better, Beth. Um, thanks for watching and saying hello. Yes, she said she was the fan blade girl. I love it. Have you got it yet? Um, I think you're really gonna like it, uh, for sure. I, I, oh, I don't know. Oh, okay, let me get my sweeper first. Hang on. They want to see my sweeper. I don't know how good. This is what a good sweeper it is. Oh, I put it downstairs. I thought we were gonna hang this up there. Um, here it is. It's white. <laughs> And here it is. So this is my new sweeper. I'll bring it up. And you just um, you just push the button right here, and off it goes. And see, it's got a light. Can you see the light? <laughs> so I don't know how loud that sounds, but it seems quiet to me. Um, probably sounded pretty loud there, but um, yeah, I love it. And then just to dump it, all of the gunk goes here. And you just, there's a little button there and it just dumps right out. And I've got a lot of gunk in there because I've been picking up snow and glitter and all the things from my um, decor that I've been cleaning up. So um, anyway, what else was I gonna talk about? Oh, I was gonna show you my cabinet. I'll wait, I'll wait. I think he's ready for dinner. It's 5.30, so we better get going. Um, I'll show you my cabinet. I love it though. I moved it from the dining room and it had all of my little, um, perfumes and all of the cute little trinket jars and stuff all of my ladies and all of the hand-painted plates and all of that stuff I went through I've got a bunch that I'm gonna be selling you guys so I'm excited about that um, and there was some that I just can't part with yet I I really emptied it down and I had this cabinet full and then um, I couldn't get rid of any more and then now I've emptied it down again <sighs> so I'm gonna have anxiety when it's time to list all that, but I'm good with what I kept. So, but I'm excited because I put some of the new um, stuff. I thought, well, if if it doesn't sell right away, I can enjoy it before you guys take it, right? Let me um, let me see if I can show you. I don't have very good light in this room, but let me see if I can show you real quick. Let me see. I'm still working on it. It's not done. Yeah, I don't have very good light in here. I don't have any light in here. Here, I've got one at my desk. Let me see, let me see here. Okay, let me flip you around. Okay, so here it is. <laughs> so this is what I have. Um, what am I seeing here? Why is, what am I seeing? I don't even know. Oh, I must have my phone, I don't know. I don't know what this is over here, but anyway, let me open the cabinet for you guys. So. So this is the cabinet, and this is all the better light I can give you, and I'll do better, I promise. So I put my boards, my old boards, breadboards at the top, and then I have each shelf done. I can't figure out what is hanging in front of my phone. I have no idea, but there's something, <laughs> I see it, um, but I can't imagine what it is. There's nothing there. Oh, I know what it is. It's picking up on this holder, I bet. I bet that's what it is. Okay, that's what it is. Okay, um, there's my first shelf, and I'll have to do it when I have better light. And then this is my next shelf. Love it. And then my next shelf. Love it. <laughs> then my next shelf. And then my bottom shelf is all the keepy things, and I've got to pack those up yet. So that's why I say, that's why I say I'm not done yet, but there you go and then i did add a little bit more to my um my suitcase and i found these at hobby lobby the other day these little purple balls um over by the wedding section um they have those little like 2.99 picks so i love that i know it's kind of jiggly here but anyway uh 
that is that is one of the projects that I've been wanting to do and just um, finally finally took the time to do it <laughs> so, but as soon as the as soon as the um, maybe I'll have better lighting and as soon as I get it all done I'll bring it out and show you guys so you can really see uh, better because I know it's not it's not very good light right now but um, just in case I forget, or sometimes you guys don't all see everything that I do, so at least you got a little sneaky peek at it, right? So, okay, you love the cabinet? Oh, thank you, Jenny. I do too, it's been a little keeper. It's not too big, um, I can push it around myself, um, and I love all of the shelves. Um, oh, Kathy missed the whole thing. Uh, oh, you got it yesterday, okay, great, great. I'm glad you got everything okay. Um, thank you, Pamela. Ready to get back at it? Oh, Beth, good, I'm glad to hear that. Whoops, let me see. Whoa, my tassel is beautiful. Thank you, Jenny. Not sure which one you, you caught there. Um, probably my favorite big one here behind me, maybe. That one that I keep on my breadboard. It's a doozy. <laughs> it's a big one for sure. <laughs> so, all right, you guys. Looks like Randy's starting to make a salad, so I'm gonna go help him. Um, Thank you guys for watching, and um, thank you, Kathy. And I'm gonna finish packing up. I'm gonna run my new sweeper around. Isn't that funny when you get a new sweeper, how fun it is? And then pretty soon I'll be like, oh, I have to run the sweeper. <laughs> but right now it's fun to zip around. So, okay, you guys, I gotta remember to share my sweeper and share my, um, it's called Tammy Loves Creating Vintage Treasures. And if by chance you, you go to my website, Tammy Loves Vintage, and you um, join my membership for $15, remember to go back to Facebook and ask to join that group, okay? Because I won't, I won't know to let you in unless you ask. Um, and if I see your payment come through, um, I have to be your personal friend to be able to invite you there. So um, you have to ask and then I let you right in, okay? So, all right, you guys, I'm gonna go. Have a great night, bye-bye.